Today we're going to configure onboarding for macOS devices in Defender for Endpoint via Intune. Let's jump in. Really we can't do anything until we've got the onboarding package for our devices. So we're going to head to the security portal, security.microsoft.com at Microsoft 365 Defender. I'm going to scroll down in this list until we get to settings. So settings, and then in this list you will find endpoints. If you don't have endpoints, either you don't have a Microsoft Defender for Endpoint license in your environment, or you haven't started the process of configuring Defender for Endpoint in your environment. So please check out your licenses to see if you have Defender for Endpoint licenses. If you have, it's really a case of going up in this list actually and finding endpoints, choose endpoints, and then there'll be a button to start that process of onboarding your tenant into Defender for Endpoint. Let's assume you already got there. We'll get back to settings and endpoints, choose endpoints and scroll all the way down to onboarding. So we've got onboarding and offboarding. Obviously, I'm going to be doing onboarding first, and we're going to choose macOS right here. Now, it says that we've got a couple of options for onboarding. We have local script for up to 10 devices or mobile device management. I'm going to go with MDM, and we need to grab this onboarding package. So let's choose onboarding package, and it will download for us. It's the uh, Defender ATP onboarding package. You can see I've done this a couple of times before just to prepare for this video could hear me if I hadn't prepared. So let's take a look at what is inside this package then. So in this package we have two folders, one called Intune, one called Jamf. We're going to double click on Intune and we get these things. So inside the package you will get Windows Defender, ATP, Onboarding XML and a KEXT.XML. You won't have this mobile config. I'll show you how I created that folder or not how I created a folder. You can probably do that yourself what I put in this folder and why there's a folder there in just a few moments. But for now, let's assume we're going to take a look at this Windows Defender ATP onboarding folder. So bring over this window for you to see. And you can see what we've got is a very basic XML here containing some information which will allow us to onboard our device to Defender for Endpoint. That's what you get. You don't need to edit this if you don't want to. Take a look at the docs. I'll link them down below so you can see what things can be edited to make changes. For me, I don't need to make any changes. This will onboard my device exactly as I want it to. So from here, we can see that we've got an additional few files that I've created here. We've got, uh, I spelled that wrong, haven't I? Mobile config, and that will help. So now that we've got these files, I'll show you how I got them and why they're there. So if we go to the Intune documentation for doing this, you've got five steps for using Intune to onboard Mac devices to Defender for Endpoint. So first, download the onboarding package. We've just done that. You don't need to look into that anymore. Client device setup is simply enrolling a Mac. Now, that's not part of this video. Enroll a Mac. Do that standard Intune enrollment with the company portal will do they don't need to be supervised or anything special like that. Just enroll a Mac and you're ready to go. Approve system extensions. Okay, let's take a look at that. We need to do some things. We need to create a profile within Intune. It needs to be a template and that template is going to be called extensions. And then we are going to use these settings below to approve system extensions for Defender for Endpoint. Let's jump in and just do that. So from the Endpoint Manager Admin Center, we're going to choose Devices, Mac OS, Configuration Profiles, Create Profile, and we're going to use a template, like I said, and this is going to be the Extensions template. We're going to call it Mac OS Extensions, maybe System Extensions, for Defender for Endpoint. So then we'll choose Next. And we get the option for kernel extensions, which is not supported for devices that are running 10.13.2 or later. So we'll close that because my devices are Apple Silicon. We'll choose system extensions. And we don't need to worry about the team identifiers, but we are going to allow some system extensions. So we're going to allow this one here. And it's got the team identifier right here and just copying these from that table that you saw a few minutes ago. And we're all good to go. So that's that all done. We'll choose next. And we're going to deploy that to all devices in this case. We'll choose next and next. 
and we're all done. Okay, so next we are going to look back at this documentation because it's fantastic. And I, you can see I just grabbed that information from there. We'll go down. Kernel extensions aren't supported, so that's fine. Full disk access. That's the next thing, thing we need to worry about. So it says download the full disk mobile config from the GitHub repository. You see, I've clicked that link. So that link takes you to this website here with the full disk access here. I've put that into Visual Studio Code just here and called it mobile full disk mobile config. And that is it. That will simply do the things we need it to do. So over to the endpoint manager portal, we'll choose create profile and we're going to choose a template. It's going to be a custom template and we're going to choose create and we're going to call it full disk access or MDE. We'll choose next and it's going to be the device channel. We're going to grab this mobile config file that I've got from here. I'm going to call it full disk dot mobile config and we'll choose next and we're going to deploy that to all devices and choose next and create next in the documentation network filter exactly the same concept net 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 filter net filter dot mobile config we will grab this information here. I've put that into Visual Studio Code like this, and I've saved it in that folder that you just saw. Let's do that again then. So create profile, templates, custom, next. And we're gonna call it network filter for MDE. Choose next, device channel again. It's called net filter or mobile config. Grab this file, choose next, all devices and next and create. Next in the list, I'll speed this up a little bit for you. If this is notifications mobile config, so we'll grab that one. Choose next, notif.mobileconfig, grab that file and choose next and all devices and next create final one to do is this final one up here which is called background services configuration profile so it's called background services at mobile config i'll just grab that speed this up a little bit to custom template choose create background services or mde Next, that's the name right there. Give it the config file, choose next. All devices, next, create. Okay, we're all done with that. Let's jump back to the documentation. Scroll right to the top to get this list right here. Publish application, and this is super simple. We don't need documentation for this. So we'll jump back to the console. It's not a device config profile. We're actually deploying an app now. We're going to choose Mac OS. We're going to choose Mac OS and we're going to add. And in this list, we will find Defender for Endpoint. So we have Mac OS here. We'll choose Select. And this is the app that's pretty much ready to go. It's simply a case of choosing Next, adding all devices and choosing Next. And then that's pretty much it. We just need to go Create. So I'm just going to let all of that happen on my Mac and I'll come back in another video and take a look at what is the user experience on this. If you've liked this video, please hit like and subscribe, support this channel. See you next time.